tualika lakale mm. is a correct word to only mean that in governance mm. tualika lakale true to it vali kalakale until 2026 elo baka sunsumana to ask for the vote again ukuya mkuika la pala baikala saying the pf cannot rebrand mm. is for the P, for for other people but for me for me who believes so much in democracy i feel the pf should be left alone to do their intra party organization whether they are rebranding to rule again or rebranding to continue as a, a, a formidable opposition political party to provide checks and balances that's something else so someone cannot just say no this whether rebranding or not let's forget about them how many mps do they have in parliament let's not forget that they are still the largest Politi for me, I actually call them the largest political party. Mm. Why do I call them Why the largest say, political mm. party? It's just two years, uh, is it three years? In, in fact, not three years, two years that they lost power. They still have their structures intact, some of them. And most of the people that have left PF, believe you me, they're just on the fence. Most of the people that have left PF, mm. they're just on the fence. And the people that voted for the current government, the UPND, most of them were actually aggrieved PF members that for any other reason, amongst them, they were not happy with the way other members were being treated. For instance, I talked about how Chimbakamwiri was hunted out, mm -hmm. how KBF was, uh, was treated. Those people had a following. So some just hibernated in PF because everyone wants to align themselves with the powers that be, with the ruling party. But when it came to vote, because it's one man, one vote, and a secret vote, you saw the overwhelming support the UPND had. Not that the 2.8 million mem were members of the UPND, no. The PF, even in its current form, still has a membership. And that we should not just uh, take away from them. And if we took that for granted, hmm. if UPND took that for granted, it's time they started thinking twice about the PF. Because they are a danger to the ruling government. They're the biggest opposition in Zambia. How many MPs do they have? Numbers. Mm. A, a danger in which context of, is it destruction? They can come back. Which President Agenda talks back. about. No, they can come uh, back. Because look here, mm. look here. The, Zamb the problem with Zambian uh, politics, I'll call it the problem yeah. in a good way. The problem is that Zambians are unpredictable. Sometimes they'll see a wrong thing, like they did to the PF. Remember the PF came on the, the, the slogan of Don't Kubeba. Mm -hmm. And I think even 2021, it was a Don't Kubeba in reverse. It was Don't Kubeba on PF itself. So they won't show you that they are not with you. They won't show you. That is where President Haga and Ichilema should be very careful. Because the silent voice is actually worse than someone who speaks. The PF became a danger to itself because most of the people would rather not speak for fear of being labeled. The, 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 the common words in politics, when I come to you and say, one of your subord subordinates here comes to say, uh, boss innocent, I think the way we are, we are, our editorial policy is being done is not correct. Someone who come and say, boss, uri achire muneka tatrina, tatrina, nkufi alera ndapali imu. That was what was happening in PF. So in the end, people stopped talking. Whenever you talk objectively, you are labeled. So, and this is what I feel is still, is, 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 is now filtering through to the ruling party. Because some people now, people that we meet, we interact with colleagues. Mm. We interact with, I would rather keep quiet. But the moment people keep quiet, then you've got a silent enemy and more dangerous than someone that comes to your face. Pampu mia muntu, tapafu mienkala maikulia. So speak out when you are grieved. Like in the case of uh, PF now. Let the members speak out to provide uh, a, a, a correction. Not speaking out to divide. It's time to unite all political parties. It could be a, a MMD, it could be a, a a pep. Intra party unity is important for democracy. As long as the political parties are not united, there won't be any meaningful democracy to talk about. In the end, we are going to be 
thinking UPND is is is, is 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 the only political party in Zambia because in the end they will, they will, they will thrive because the opposition is disjointed they will thrive because intra party politics within political parties is not if, if favoring its own members and members will be aggrieved others will actually retire keep, just keep quiet and not participate wait for the election day and which is dangerous mm. so w w when you look at um, also the european side uh, it's a part in power uh, which of course even the UPND's uh, democracy should be you know uh, respected should be uh, uh, also uh, supported to to that growth do you think the UPND has got a chance to maintain or consolidate the structures from now going up to 2026 and uh, win you know the elections the onus is on the UPND leadership mm. To learn from the mistakes of the PF, mm. if at all there were mistakes which led the PF to lose the elections, and work on the mistakes of the PF. So far, what are the mistakes you've noticed that the UPND should learn uh, from the previous administration? Look here, uh, for starters, mm. people have spoken. People have spoken. Mm. People have spoken. They have said we there was a lot of cadarism under PF. What are we seeing now? Some remnants of Kadarism creeping in. And it's sad, and I have to mention this, the, the area the better, the UPND should, should work on their cadres because they have started bringing Kadarism, not as leaders, but individual beings, like we saw on the Copper Belt. I saw one clip where one leader was saying, no, we will start beating whoever is going to be putting on Irigaria A. Just that, that person should be cautioned and put in his position. Because those are the traits, some traits of the PF that people hated. Cardinalism. So the moment UPND starts distancing itself, if that person is summoned tomorrow to say, you issued this statement publicly that you are going to beat, that is threatening violence, tear myself. Is there another UPND member that is going to do that? No. Remember, I 